Netanyahu row with Obama administration deepens the row between the U.S. and Benjamin Netanyahu has deepened, with the Israeli leader accusing America and others of giving up on trying to stop Iran obtaining nuclear weapons. The U.S. Secretary of State questioned Mr. Netanyahu's judgment on the issue. Republican leaders have invited Mr. Netanyahu to address the U.S. Congress next week, angering Democrats. A White House spokesman warned against reducing us Israeli ties to a party political issue. Earlier, U.S. National Security Advisor Susan Rice said Mr. Netanyahu's visit was destructive to the fabric of the relationship. May not be correct in response Mr. Netanyahu he said the U.S. and others were accepting that Iran will gradually, within a few years, will develop capabilities to produce material for many nuclear weapons. I respect the White House and the President of the United States but on such a fateful matter, that can determine whether or not we survive, I must do everything to prevent such a great danger for Israel, he said in a speech in Israel. Late on Wednesday U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry rebuffed Mr. Netanyahu, saying, he may have a judgment that just may not be correct here. He said it was premature to criticize nuclear negotiations with Tehran. The President has made clear. I can't state this more firmly, the policy is Iran will not get the nuclear weapon, Mr. Kerry told senators. He was speaking after returning from the latest round of nuclear talks involving Iran in Geneva. Line Analysis Barbara Plett Usher, BBC News, Washington administration officials have been hitting back at Mr. Netanyahu's aggressive opposition to the nuclear deal they're negotiating with Iran. They're unhappy his speech to Congress will give him a platform to make his case as talks reach a critical juncture. Susan Rice's comments highlight that strain and are the most direct reference by a senior official to the damage caused by the controversy over the visit. It was arranged by Republican congressional leaders without consulting the Democrats or the White House, just two weeks before Mr. Netanyahu faces an election. That has angered Democrats some of whom feel they'll be forced to choose between President Obama and their desire not to upset Israel. More than a dozen have said they plan to skip the speech, opening an unprecedented reach in the usual show of bipartisan support for Israel. Line Mr. Netanyahu was invited by House Speaker John Boehner in what is seen as a rebuke to U.S. President Barack Obama's Iran policy. Mr. Netanyahu is expected to discuss Iran, as well as Islamist militant groups, in his address. The current tensions took root over a decade ago when Iran's nuclear program first came to light. In 2005, Iran was referred to the UN Security Council, leading to a series of sanctions and unresolutions requiring Tehran to stop enriching uranium. The US and other powers, the so-called P5 plus 1, are negotiating with Iran on its nuclear program. They want to agree a deal by March this year. But Mr. Netanyahu is opposed to any agreement which might allow Tehran to retain the future capacity to build a nuclear weapon. Breach of protocol The Israeli leader has turned down an invitation to meet Senate Democrats privately, saying this could compound the misperception of partisanship surrounding his trip. Several Democratic members of Congress including Vice President Joe Biden have said they would not attend the speech. Republican leaders did not consult the Obama administration before inviting Mr. Netanyahu, which the White House has called a breach of protocol. White House spokesman Josh Ernest said on Wednesday, the president has said the relationship between the U.S. and Israel can't just be reduced to a relationship between the Republican Party and the Likud Party. Mr. Obama does not plan to meet Mr. Netanyahu next week. The White House cited the long-standing practice of not meeting government leaders close to elections, which Israel will hold in mid-March. Mr. Netanyahu is fighting a tough election against the Labour Party's Yitzhak Herzog, who has focused on the Prime Minister's cooler relations with Mr. Obama.